Hello, and thank you for joining us today on Importing Budgets into General Ledger for Microsoft Dynamics GP 2015, presented by RAND Group. Our agenda today is to do an introduction, and then I'll do a demo using the Excel-based wizard to create a budget template, exporting a blank budget, updating a budget in Excel, and importing the completed budget back into Dynamics GP. I am your program leader today. My name is Deb Bergman. I'm a senior associate at RAND Group. I have 30 plus years of accounting experience and 17 plus years of Dynamics GP implementation, training, and support. To introduce our team, the Business Advantage Support Team at RAND Group provides post-deployment support for Microsoft Dynamics GP. We help clients increase revenue and lower ongoing costs by reducing inefficient processes through more effective use of software they already own. We help with things like software updates, custom integration, as well as provide technical support and customized training to our clients' staff. Why import your budget into Microsoft Dynamics GP? Well, for one thing, all of the financial data is then located in one place. Budget information for in Dynamics GP is used on financial reports and management reporter. Budgets in Dynamics GP can be for multiple fiscal years, in multiple currencies, date specific, different from fiscal years. For example, if your year end is 630, your budget can be calendar year. And then you can do departmental level budgets and roll them up into a master budget. And now for our demo. So here we are in Microsoft Dynamics GP 2015. I am on the financial page and I'm going to go to cards, financial, budgets. Okay, and then I want to create a new budget. So I'm going to click on new. <clears throat> using Budget Wizard for Excel. Click Next. I need to give this budget an ID, so I'm going to put in 2016 Test Budget. And I use the same description. It's, we're going to select Fiscal Year, however this is where you can choose Date Range. And I'm going to pick 2016. Now I have a couple of options here. I can do an open year percent, which calcu calculates a new budget on the actual balances of any year that hasn't been closed by increasing or decreasing the open year balances by a certain percentage. I could choose to do an other budget percentage, which calculates amounts on another budget by increasing or decreasing by a set percentage for the new budget. I could do a historical year percent, which calculates a budget based on the historical year's actual balances. And I can do a blank budget, which just creates the budget template and allows me to uh, then put in any numbers that I want from wherever. So if I already have a budget in Excel, I can simply copy paste the amounts into the blank budget template. For this demonstration, we're going to use the blank budget. And click Next. Now here's where you can pick uh, additional information to come out. So if you wanted to bring in your 2015 open along with uh, the blank budget template, you can do that so that you can have something to refer to on what you've already used for this year. And then uh, the account types. What type of accounts do you want to include? I'm going to choose the profit and loss accounts because this is most likely the ones that you're going to use to do your budgets for. Okay, so you can select all accounts, which means it's going to select all of the accounts in your profit and loss types, or we can go for a selected account, a selected group of accounts. So if, let's say that I wanted to do it for a specific division, I can just pick which division do I want to do this for. So I'll pick the consulting and training division to the, to the same, from the same to the same, and then I'll insert that. So what it's going to do is it's only going to select the account numbers that have this division. And you can see that it has picked all of those, those accounts. I'm going to click Next. And I'm going to send this to a new workbook because I don't have an existing workbook for it. 
and I'm going to click Finish. First you can see that my budget ID is 2016 test. Here's my description, the year, calculation method. I'm restricting the accounts by division and I'm only requesting my profit and loss types. And I'm going to include additional data for years 2015. So when I click Finish, it's going to then ask me where do I want to save this, this uh, report. So I'm going to go up to my desktop and I'm going to put in 2016 test for my budget name. And it's going to come out here in an in a Excel format. And click open. And now what it's going to do is it's going to export the budget information. So first it's pulling the information from 2015 and then it's creating the blank budget. Okay, so here's my budget, my blank budget. And you can see that it has no dollars in here. If I look at the 2015, um, I would see anything that was published or posted in here for this current year. So on my um, 2016 test, let's say that I usually use the same amount for each month. So let's say my salaries and wages for consulting US training is going to be $10,000 or um, yeah, $10,000 a month for the whole year. So I can just put in 10,000 and copy and paste this over. And you can see that it already updates my total over here to $120,000. Uh, let's say that we want to put in some bonuses or we'll go in here to the Consulting Training Canada and we'll say that it's $12,000 a month. And we'll copy that. Okay, and on down you go. And if I go to the bottom of this report, you can see that it's totaled up my budget for, for each month all the way through. And so that's how you could do that. So if you have your budgets in a spreadsheet, you can sort by the same account numbers and then you can just populate, copy, paste those in here. Okay, so I'm going to save this and then I'm going to close it. Now to get this budget back in here, I need to um, bring it back in. So I go back into my uh, budgets and I see my 2016 test budget listed here and I'm going to go to Excel and I'm going to import from Excel this time and it opens up another budget wizard. So I'm going to click next. I want to update this budget and I'm going to browse out to my Excel file And then it's going to tell me, ask me which worksheet. So if you do have a budget that you have, say, departmental on different sheets, you actually have to choose the sheet that you want to bring in. So it's more than just the Excel spreadsheet. It's the, sh the sheet within the workbook. And click Next. And click Finish. And it's going to import that in. OK. Now if you want to test or make sure that this budget is really in here, you can actually open it using Microsoft Dynamics GP. And we can start looking at um, some of the accounts. So we're in Division 500 and we're looking in the fives. So salaries and wages. Select that. And you can see that this is my, these are my budget numbers that I had in my spreadsheet. If I go to the next account, you see there's the $12,000 and on and on. So that's exactly how it brings those in. One caveat to this is if you're bringing in anything that has a typical credit balance, such as re uh, revenue, sales, uh, those numbers need to be entered into the budget in Dynamics GP as negative numbers because of the fact that they do have a credit balance. So that's the only thing thing that you have to worry about on this. Okay, so this is my presentation on importing budgets using the Excel-based budget wizard. 
So thank you for watching my demo. And just to give you some more information about the RAND Group, we were originated in 1996 as part of Heine Associates CPAs. We have over 100 local professionals to serve clients. We have 90% client retention. We have offices in Houston and Dallas, Texas, and we're in the top 1% of Microsoft partners worldwide. If you need personalized assistance and think we can help, please feel free to email us at info at rangroup.com to schedule a private consultation or call 1-866-714-8615 to connect to our support team right now. Thank you again for joining us and we look forward to hearing from you soon.